Hello students, I am Dr. Tarma Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry of the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic is very interesting, super acids in Friedel-Crafts reaction. So before going to details, one MCQ. What is Dowex resin? Or Dowex resin is actually, four options are provided. Please pause the video and write your answer in the comment box and definitely at the end of the discussion, you will get your right answer. Now, what is super acid? By definition, super acid is stronger than 100% pure sulfuric acid or more accurately if I say the tendency of the proton release is more compared to concentrated sulfuric acid or the conjugate base of super acid is more stable compared to conjugate base of sulfuric acid. So from this thing I guess you can understand about the super acid. This is sulfuric acid pK minus 2.8 and this is perchloric acid pK minus 15.2. pKa in lower the pKa value indicates greater the acidity. Consequently, perchloric acid and trifluoromethane sulfonic acid is stronger than sulfuric acid or stronger acid. So, they are super acid compared to sulfuric acid. So, perchloric acid and triphilic acid, they are super acid. Now, if you mix perchloric acid and sulfuric acid, who act as an acid and who act as an base? Obviously, perchloric acid act as an acid and releases H+. Plus. And where this H plus is consumed, this H plus is consumed by the sulfuric acid. Now, I guess you have understood this sulfuric acid will act as a base in case of perchloric acid. Now, a simple question, why perchloric acid is stronger than triphilic acid? In order to calculate the strength of any acid, we need to consider the stability of conjugate base. In this case, for perchloric acid, the conjugate base is perchlorate anion and for sulfuric acid, trifluoromethane sulfonic acid, the conjugate base is trifluoromethane sulfonate anion. Now question, if you look at this uh, perchlorate anion, the chlorine is first of all plus 7 oxidation state and this is more electronegative compared to sulfur. So both oxidation state and the electronegativity value is responsible for this and what is mean by that physical means a, com, uh, at a, a element is more electronegative means it is capable to withdraw or hold or drag the electron density towards itself it is electron hungry and it needs electron so in some case if it gets some electron it will reduce its hunger and it will be stabilized and if the electron is delocalized, the electron will be stabilized. So for that purpose, this perchlorate is stabilized. Additional information is for this O minus, this one unit negative charge is stabil also stabilized by three electronegative additional oxygen atom and this oxygen atom has both minus I and minus R effect. But in case of this uh, triphilic acid, there are two oxygen which can do the similar job but additionally there is one CF3 group and which have a minus I effect only and by the way this CF3 group is stronger sigma withdrawing and its withdrawing effect is in between it's considered that in between between the fluoride and chloride. <coughs> so from that thing you can understand that although they are different compared to acidity but their pk values are closer here minus 15.2 here minus 14.7 so that's the reason they are slight difference in acidity now from every case we observe that oh bond shows this strong acidity or super acidity but is it possible that ch bond can act as super acid because oh bonds are more polar more polar because of the electronegativity difference but ch bonds electronegativity difference less so less polar can it possible obviously ch bond can act as a super acid and by the way i've already discussed this thing in a dedicated lecture about this triphlytic acid which is actually super acid because the conjugate base means the anion carbon ion here is highly stabilized by withdrawing effect of this three so2 cf3 group so I guess you have it's very interesting please visit now till now we have discussed about small molecule super acid like triphilic acid and we know small molecules are highly miscible and they are homogeneous in nature but the main problem of homogeneity is the recoverability or recyclability and right now recent the scientists are very much 
uh, interested on material which could be recycled or reused for multiple purpose and that's why this term heterogeneous you will listen very much heterogeneous catalysis heterogeneous catalyst why because they are easy to recover but heterogeneous catalyst are always associated generally associated with lesser reactivity compared to compared to their homogeneous counterpart you may consider now so in this context there is one example that is nephion if you look at this nephion you can see difference is that these organic part this also have cf bond cf bond and oxygen means its property you can compare with cf3 group means it can act as a super acid like triphlic acid and in fact the pk of nephion is minus 6 means it is stronger than concentrated sulfuric acid or pure sulfuric acid means it is also a super acid and by the way this nephion is very famous in electrochemistry i guess many people you have observed but generally its use in chemistry is real. not that much i haven't seen and this is the reference of this information about the pk now its application since it's very acidic its application in friedel craft reaction or more specifically say friedel craft acylation and this reaction possible if the x is either OH or Cl. In both case, it is possible and ultimately it resulted in this ketonic derivative formation. By the way, a simple question. After this reaction, will Nephion H means the acidic version will be produced or not? Obviously, no super as you will not get the Nephion H from this reaction directly. Why? Because Nephion is a very strong acid super acid means its conjugate base is very stable it don't want to take its proton back so where the proton will reside proton will prefer to reside attached with this and if you do work up proton will go and what will be the fate of this nephion nephion will convert it into its corresponding salt so that's the chemistry please remember your teacher may confuse you now before going to the mechanism let's learn about basic of Friedel-Craft acylation, how this reaction happens. Actually, this happens in presence of Lewis acid like aluminum chloride, which coordinates to this aluminum center and ultimately from this Lewis acid base attack. You may think that sir, oxygen could have been uh, coordinated better. It's possible, but that will not have any fate in the overall chemical reaction. So, this Lewis acid base adduct, what will happen in the next? It will generate the acylium cation which is acting as electrophile in this case. It will react with benzene through aromatic electrophilic substitution and ultimately it will produce this sigma complex which will eliminate this proton in order to gain aromaticity and ultimately produce an aryl ketone. So similar thing is possible and by the way if you take OH in this case in presence of super acid this OH will be converted into OH2 plus now it's a very good living group so it will leave and produce ultimately the similar acylium cation same thing now as i told that cf3 swh is a homogeneous counterpart you can consider compared to nephion so the mechanism could be understood little easier way using this trifluoromethane sulfonic acid in this case what happens it has a very high tendency to release proton fine and they, that proton will be taken either by this oxygen or this chlorine because these are electron rich center and in this way it will generate the acylium cation but this acylium cation is expected not to remain bare why because in the reaction medium there is this cf3 soo minus means triplet anion trifluoromethane sulfonate so these anion can remain closely to the acylium cation means this because acylium cation the carbon center is six electron species if this negative charge remain closer to this carbon both will be stabilized so you can consider it's it's a formation of mixed anhydride but this mixed anhydride is not very stable and it undergo friedel craft acylation reaction with benzene and ultimately produces this this you may consider this diaryl ketone derivative from this anhydride word you may think that is sir is it possible that acetic anhydride can undergo similar reaction without any lewis acid no student why because 
if let us consider that acetic anhydride af after this elimination produces this acylium cation. What is the counterpart of this acylium cation? Counterpart is acetate anion you can see here acetate. This acetate is not that much stable or delocalized its electron. It is not that much stable like this trifluoromethane sulfonate. So, consequently it is not stable. So, it will not generate in absence of any Lewis acid. But if you give Lewis acid, Lewis acid will help to stabilize the negative charge on this acetate. So, reaction will progress. Now, I believe the mechanism is clear to you. Let us come to the alkylation or using nephion as nephion. So, in this case what happened? In this case the mechanism is little different I believe. For example, you can take CH3, CH, Cl and there is H. Now, why I am drawing this? Because I am talking about a super acid which produces H plus efficiently. Now, by the way, there is one example that super acid can protonate methane. I know you will not believe this protonate methane and produce CH5 plus. You, you will be a little confused as said carbon's valence is 5, it is not maintained. How it is possible? This is possible because super acid is so much acidic that it can protonate the CH bond. Not only CH bond, it is capable to protonate CC bonds also. It is so much acidic means the conjugate base is extremely stable such that proton became completely free. It is like a single, purely single and when someone is single, he or she tries to get mingle, same thing happens and how, why that person got mingle? When that person got some love or affection, similar thing is it you can expect in case of chlorine. Why? Because chlorine has a lone pair of electron means it has lots of love, but it do not have anyone to give the love. So, consequently this lone pair will be donated to H plus and it will produce CH3, CH2, Cl, H and chlorine will have the formal positive charge. This example is completely my understanding I have given you such that you can understand the better. Now just consider who is better electrophile this ethyl chloride or versus this protonated ethyl chloride. Obviously we will say sir this is why because in first case chlorine chloride minus need to leave which is not that much a good leaving group. In the second case HCl is the leaving group and it is a covalent molecule and it is a neutral molecule too. And by the way nature of leaving group is important in substitution reaction I have already discussed previously. So, in this case benzene reacts efficiently or directly with this protonated ethyl chloride type alkyl halide derivative in absence of any Lewis acid. Okay, So, that is why using nephion you do not need to use any Lewis acid and you can get the Friedel-Craft alkylation product similar mechanism I have already discussed. And in this reaction, the main problem is polyalkylation or overalkylation, which is a typical problem for direct Friedel-Craft alkylation. That is why alkyl benzenes are produced by first Friedel-Craft acylation, second reduction of that carbonyl derivative because after acylation, the electron density of the nucleus reduced. So, further reaction does not happen. But in this case, the product is more electron rich and consequently it is more reactive compared to the reactant. That is why overalkylation or polyalkylation happens. So, this is the overall discussion. Now, let us come to the MCQ. Davex resin is actually a cation exchange resin. Question why? See, if you look at the um, structure of Davex resin, there are many structurally Davex is polystyrene sulfate. This is actually cat sodium salt of Davex resin. Davex resins are polystyrene sulfonate. This is chemically they are like that. Please try to remember. Now, sulfonate or sulfonic acid. So, you may consider sulfonic acid. So, sulfonic acid are very strong like they are organic analog of sulfuric acid sometime before we have discussed sulfuric acid is very strong acid. So, what it does? The sulfonate have one proton. So, it produces this SO3 minus sulfonate plus proton. Now, 
this is actually a polystyrene sulfonate so this polymer backbone directly attached to this sulfonate group via covalent bond so in this case covalent bond there consequently it can leave but this proton is free it can leave so that's why it can exchange the proton with someone so proton is exchangeable and proton is actually a cationic species that's why it is called cation exchange resin but others option are not possible not an ion exchange it can't exchange it can exchange both ions so this is the overall discussion i believe this video may be useful if possible please visit my another channel climate and chemistry where i upload global warming and climate related videos so thank you again see you in my next video bye bye